Cardiac arrhythmias are very common and seen amongst all age groups. As the U.S. population continues to age, researchers expect those numbers to grow. For example, experts estimate that 12.1 million people in the United States will have atrial fibrillation in 2030. AFib is the most common type of cardiac arrhythmia. Hi, I'm Dr. William Sauer, a Mass General Brigham cardiologist. So what is a cardiac arrhythmia? A cardiac arrhythmia is an abnormal heartbeat. It can be a heart that beats too quickly, too slowly, or in an irregular rhythm. Cardiac arrhythmias are often called heart rhythm disorders. Electrical signals control your heartbeat. It's normal to feel your heart skip a beat on occasion. But if it happens often, it may be a sign that your heart isn't working the way it should. Some cardiac arrhythmias are harmless, while others can be deadly. They're more common as we age. Types of cardiac arrhythmias include atrial fibrillation or AFib, a rapid and uncoordinated heartbeat that can lead to stroke. Atrial flutter, a rapid heartbeat that may also lead to stroke. Bradycardia, a slow resting heart rate or inability to increase heart rate with exercise. Supraventricular tachycardia, a pounding heartbeat that starts and stops suddenly, often during exercise. And ventricular arrhythmias, which consist of premature ventricular contractions, or PVCs, ventricular tachycardia, and ventricular fibrillation. What are the symptoms of cardiac arrhythmias? If you have an uncomfortable awareness of your heartbeat, or your heart is beating faster, slower, or in an unusual pattern, you may have an arrhythmia. Call your doctor or cardiologist if you notice a racing, fluttering, or pounding heart that may be associated with lightheadedness and anxiety. Most cardiac arrhythmias are benign, but some require immediate attention and potentially a trip to the emergency room. How do we diagnose cardiac arrhythmias? Tests we use include electrocardiography, or EKG, to measure the electrical activity of your heart. At home or outpatient heart monitors, including Holter monitors and event recorders, worn for a period of days or a month. An implantable loop recorder, which we insert under the skin to look for infrequent arrhythmias. An echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound of your heart. And a stress test to check how your heart performs with exertion. If we need more information, we may perform an electrophysiologic study, or EP study. During this procedure, we access your heart through a large vein in the leg and specialized catheters measure your heart's electrical activity. How are cardiac arrhythmias treated? Your treatment depends on the type of arrhythmia you have. Your doctor may recommend certain lifestyle changes, such as improved sleep habits, limiting caffeine or alcohol, and maintaining a healthy body weight, which have all been shown to reduce arrhythmia burden. Your doctor may also recommend medications to control your heartbeat, a cardioversion, a procedure that delivers a shock to restore your normal heartbeat, a pacemaker to control your heartbeat if it is slow, and an implantable cardiac defibrillator, or ICD, to detect an abnormally fast heart rhythm and restore it back to normal. Or catheter ablation, which targets abnormal heart tissue causing the arrhythmia. Catheter ablation is often used to successfully treat cardiac arrhythmias, including atrial fibrillation. We use advanced imaging and mapping techniques to visualize a reconstructed heart and the origins of the arrhythmia. While you are sedated, we place specialized catheters to map and ablate the abnormal heart rhythm. Electrodes on the end of these catheters deliver energy to alter the electrical function of the tissue. Most patients who receive this treatment go home the same day. Arrhythmias can be serious or harmless. The good news is we have effective treatments to help you live a normal, healthy life and even provide a cure in many cases. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. William Sauer. To learn more about other types of heart disease, click here. And don't forget to subscribe.